Hi everybody, I just wanted to show you quick um, a watercolor technique using um, a stamps, any kind of stamps. I think it, it probably works best with florals, um, animals, but kind of uh, not a lot of detail, Not probably not um, architectural type stamps, but I think if you just practice and try different things, um, you might enjoy it. I use um, Tombow markers, and I know most people use Copic or Copic, whatever they're called. I would think it would work with that. All you need is a marker that has a brush tip. And so I will quickly show you how to do this. Um, you just want to, you know, it helps to kind of really keep track of your design, obviously. Um, but I'm just going to quick bang this out if I can. And I... I did um, several, several Christmas cards one year um, with this technique and with these stamps. And once you get going, it's not, it's not all that bad. It's kind of, it's such a pretty result, really. Um, but you just kind of gotta, if you lose track of your design, just take a peek at the front again, and you should be okay. So, um, all you need is a little spritzer bottle of water after, you know, you'd, what's nice about this is that it doesn't matter if it, you know, you don't have to like go really fast because even if the marker color kind of starts to dry on the stamp a little bit, you're just going to spritz it anyway, so you don't have to be too, um, too fast with it. And at the same time, you don't have to be all that perfectly detailed um, because it's going to get it's going to give a watercolor effect. Okay, so I'm just going to use this. And then what you want to do is you want to spray over it, not on it. But so spray it like like this. I do it like that, but I don't want to get anything wet. So just kind of spray over it and the mist will fall on top of the stamp. Let me just do a Okay. And then the technique that I have there is um, you stamp. Uh, normally, you would cut your paper. I usually, I think the rule of thumb is to cut at the size of the stamp. But this I cut a little smaller because I want it to kind of go off the page or the paper. So you just stamp that on there. Oops, and while it's still wet, I cut a smaller piece. This is... Um, I think it's about three and a half by three and a half, and this is two and a quarter by two and a quarter, and then you kind of spritz it again. And then you want to kind of get the center there over that. And see, it's, I waited a little longer than I would I should have. But anyways, um, this is what you'll have. And then I can mount this, or put some mounting tape on the back of that. I think what I'll do too is stamp. And then you just want to kind of find the mimic what's below here. And if you can tell, this usually, you know, this is, um, Pretty eyeballish, and then I might do a little decorative. I didn't do a decorative one on this other one. I just matted it on black paper, but this could make you know a Christmas card, a gift tag, anything. You could add some stickles or some bling. Or I have this smooch. And I don't know if this is. Um, I don't think it's. Um, I don't think I have it sh shaken up enough. But it'd probably be prettier if it's shook up more. Um, but there you have that. I also have this holly stamp, and that's what this one looks like. Oops, not that. <laughs> but it's really you know this is just I used a little darker colors and I. 
um, stamped it quicker than I did this one, but um, it's a fun and pretty technique, and I hope you give it a try. Thanks a lot. Bye.